The U.S. Air Force has dispatched three B-2 stealth bombers and 200 air personnel to Guam. The deployment puts the nuclear-capable B-2s within 3,500 miles of North Korea just days after uh, talks were held with South Korea uh, and Kim Jong-un's regime. Uh, President Trump also signaling he's open to talks with Little Rocket Man, as he once called him, telling the Wall Street Journal, quote, I probably have a very good relationship with Kim Jong-un. I have relationships with people. The president declining to comment on whether he's talked with the North Korean leader. Joining us now is Fred Flight, senior vice president at the Center for Security Policy, former chief of staff to Ambassador John Bolton. And Fred, it's great to see you. Uh, let's let's start with the uh, the B-52s. It, it's, it seemed a little odd in the context of the Olympics and all of the uh, apparent ostensible uh, advance uh, uh, in the relationship between North and South Korea and presumably the United States to see suddenly the dispatch of these B-2s. Hey, Lou, it's great to be here. Well, the president is sending an important message to Kim Jong-un, and the message is, talk all you want, talk is good, but I'm not letting up the pressure. You have to denuclearize. And, you know, I think these talks are a good thing because as long as the North Koreans are talking, they're not testing nuclear weapons, they're not firing missiles, but the president is sending a message. The fact that you're talking doesn't mean we're going to let up the pressure. And another area where pressure has not been applied at all by any administration save this one, and that is in reluctance to certify the Iranian nuclear deal. Uh, the president seems, well, perplexed by uh, Iran, and we seem to be trying to find our footing there. Well, Lou, this is an important point for the Trump presidency. The, tr the president has shown tremendous leadership and moral clarity on the protests, and he has to honor the protesters by killing this fraudulent deal. It can't be fixed, Lou. I've covered the Iran nuclear program for 20 years. I've written a book on this issue. Right. The only way out is John Bolton's plan to kill the deal. These uh, minor changes being discussed on the Hill, they're simply going to extend this fraud. President Trump, honor the protesters. Please kill this deal. It reports that General McMaster, the national security advisor, is working hard along with other members, uh, some other members in the administration, trying to save it. Uh, there's obviously some tension there within the administration, uh, or, or perhaps just simply a difference of view. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be anything beyond that uh, about what, how to proceed. Well, you know, there's two people the president can listen to. There's McMaster and Tillerson. They've been against the president's Iran policy from his first day in office. They mm -hmm. tried to prevent the president from decertifying the deal last summer. Right. Then there's John Bolton, who has always been with the president on this issue and has a plan to get out of the deal. It's, it's a no-brainer, Lou. Side with Ambassador Bolton. That's the way to go. And uh, as far as Iran is concerned, it seems, and I say seems, to have ratcheted down uh, it's expansionist uh, uh, aggression in the in the region in the Middle East. Uh, the status quo ante seems to be what we're looking at. Uh, what do you make of it? You know, this is a fraudulent deal. It doesn't appreciably stop Iran's pursuit of nuclear weapons. But we also know that Iran has spent billions of dollars it got from this deal and sanctions relief on terrorism on the military, on sending troops into Syria, on sending missiles to the Houthi rebels in Yemen that they've used to attack Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. with. Meanwhile, the Iranian people are suffering. They can't get enough to eat. Some are selling their kidneys, Lou, to raise funds. That's why it's obscene to continue this deal that's giving the mullahs money that they're using to sponsor terrorism and harm their own people. Brett Flights, as always, we appreciate your insight. Thanks Great for to being be here. with us. Good to see you.